Bleach? Is that the one with the flying cars in space? Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Bleach games for the Sony PlayStation 2. Bleach Erabareshi Tamashi is a decent beat'em up. You choose a character and a teammate and start hack and slashing through the levels. The story is pretty much non-existent and the gameplay is basic. You have a normal attack and a special attack and you can team up with your partner for a combined attack. There are close combat characters and long range characters. The game isn't bad, it's decent. For non-fans the game might be bland and average and if you're a fan you might consider the game to be good. As I said, it's not bad, it's a decent hack and slash game. Bleach Hanatareshi Yabo is an RPG. If you're not a fan of the series, you might not like the game. Oh, and just know that the game is Japan only, so if you don't know Japanese, you will have a hard time in the game, since RPGs, you know how they are. They are pretty much story focused. But maybe someone did or will do an English patch of this game. Anyway, the game is an RPG. You get dialogues, sandbox gameplay, enemy encounters, the combat is easy and might feel plain and the exploration looks ugly being a 2D picture in which you move in 3D many times and you oftenly get just odd angles to explore in. And as for Bleach Blade Battlers, it's a fighting game. You start off with 5 characters and you can unlock more. The game has 23 playable characters. You unlock them for example by completing a mission with S rank or other challenges. The game also has a shop with lots of nifty unlockables. You unlock stuff with points earned during battles. The game has a story mode too and well overall it's a good fighting game. There is stuff that can be improved like for example putting more moves for a character but it's still a good fighting game. And Blade Battler 2nd is similar to the first one, but improved. It has a longer story that doesn't follow the manga, except for the first chapter. Because in rest, the rest of the story is there just to give a context to the characters of fighting, just to give them a motive. But well, on paper you have a story. You can use transformation awakening modes to deal more damage. Also now there are more O attacks and more moves per character overall. As you might have noticed, there are now two gorges next to the life bar. One is for O attacks and one for transformations. When a gorge is full, press L1 and R1 to transform, in Ichigo's case into Bankai. In Bankai, if you press the O button, the circle, he puts on his holo mask which lasts for 11 seconds. And each character has different specials and transformations. And the game is way better than the first one. Oh, and the game has 36 playable characters. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!